Welcome to networkreviews.co.uk. Today I'm going to do a review of GIFGAF. Now you may not have heard of GIFGAF, but what it is, it's a community-run network that operates only on pay as you go and only online, so there are no stores. And you can't actually get like a, a pay monthly contract with a phone or anything on GIFGAF. It's a completely different type of network. So when I say community-run, what I mean is the promotion, um, people answering questions, customer service questions, that's all done by actual users of GIFGAF. So how that works is once you sign up, you can get rewarded with points, which can, can then be turned into money for getting other people to sign up, answering questions on forums and things like that. Now that's alone a good reason to consider moving to GIFGAF because it's a much better way to get answers about your queries, to get it from a fellow user who's looking to earn points than to call someone in a random call center somewhere. It works really well, especially for people who like being online and like going on forums and things like that. That's a really enjoyable side of it. But the main reason anyone would want to move to GIFGAF is the prices. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll go through all the prices. So the base rates are 10p for a call, and all the base rates are cheaper than all the other networks in the UK. So that, that's a reason alone to you know, save a lot of money with GIFGAF. But it's these goodie bags that make the difference. So when you sign up, you can either get £10 credit and use them as credit with the 10p calls and whatnot, or you can... This is just an example, £10, it can be any amount. But with the £10, you can get a £10 goodie bag, and with that you get 250 minutes and unlimited text and unlimited internet. So that's a pretty amazing deal for £10, nothing out there can beat that. And you know, for more money you can get more, it goes up to £25, the goodie bags. £25 you get 1,500 minutes and unlimited text and internet, and that's a pretty amazing deal too. And what's even better than that is you get free gift gaff to gift gaff calls and free gift gaff text as well. So the more people you get to sign up, the cheaper it's going to end up being for you. And to be eligible for those uh, gift gaff calls and text, you just need to top up once every three months. So there's other things about the network you might want to know about. It's definitely a lot cheaper, so for that reason alone, it's worth considering. But I'm just going to go into some details I found when I started using them. So coverage is a concern when anyone's moving to a new network. And GIFGAF has got great 2G coverage. It uses the O2 signal. So if you know anyone on O2, or if you've been on O2 yourself, you'll know what the signal will be like on GIFGAF. It'll be exactly the same. Now, O2 covers 99% of the UK's population with a 2G signal, and around 80% with a 3G signal. So the 3G signal isn't that great, and I hear people complain about it online that sometimes they can't get a great 3G signal. And the 3G is obviously used for fast internet and stuff like that. But if you're living in an area like me in London where you get a good O2 signal, a good O2 3G signal, then it's not going to be a problem for you. So that's something you're going to need to look on the coverage checker for or ask your friends about if they use O2. Now I've put a link in the description for the coverage checker, but I think the best way to do it is to actually ask someone who uses O2 in your area what the signal's like and if they can get you know, fast 3G internet signals and stuff like that. That's a better way to get an idea of what your coverage is going to be like if you sign up to GIFGAF. So coverage is, you know, 2G wise at least, one of the best in the UK. There's not going to be a problem there. It's not a small network trying to start their own uh, network of coverage. They're just using O2s. And other stuff I want to mention is I started using it on an iPhone when I had an iPhone. And that, of course, uses a micro SIM. Now, you can either just get a normal SIM and use a SIM cutter and cut it yourself, which is what I did. Or you can order a SIM from micro gaff. Or there's other people in the community who are willing to cut a SIM for you and send it for you. But in the future, GIFGAF are going to, as standard, have uh, micro SIMs available for free. So maybe by the time you watch this, that will already be in place and you'll be able to get uh, micro SIMs straight from GIFGAF rather than have to get someone to cut it for you, you have to cut it yourself. But I thought that was worth mentioning in case you use an iPhone or any other phone that uses a micro SIM. Now, another iPhone related thing was tethering. Now, tethering is where you use your phone's internet connection to connect to a tablet or something like that. You make your phone a Wi-Fi hotspot, connect your tablet or your laptop to it, and use the internet through your phone. And because GIFGAF comes with unlimited internet, you're not actually allowed to tether, because that way you could just get your phone's internet connection, use it on your laptop, and then it'd be basically the cheapest UK broadband ever. So they don't allow tethering. And why I mention that with the iPhone specifically is when I used it on the iPhone, when I used Vodafone, there was an option for tethering in the menus, but when I put the GIFGAF SIM in, that option just disappeared. So there was no way to do it on the iPhone. When I used it on my Android, however, there was the option to tether, and I actually tested it out and it worked. 
but I read that you could get banned from it, so obviously I stopped that straight away and hopefully I don't get banned for it. But uh, that's just something to bear in mind, you're not after Tether, but you can use the unlimited internet on the phone. And it is truly unlimited, which is a pretty amazing deal when it starts at £10. Now, if you do want to use tethering, then they do things called um, giga bags instead of goodie bags. So if you top up £10, you can get a giga bag instead of a goodie bag, and that just has internet on it, and you can tether to that. The thing is, though, um, you can't have a giga bag and a goodie bag on at the same time, so it's going to be one or the other. So I think if you have a tablet and a phone, then the best thing to do is to get a giga bag, uh, two, micro, two SIMs from GIFGAF. Use one for the internet and use one on your phone. And that's probably the best way of doing it. I mean, the SIMs are free to order, so I don't see why you shouldn't do that if you have a tablet and a phone. Uh, other things I need to mention, other than that on my iPhone, it worked perfectly. I live in London, I get a great signal, so I didn't really notice any difference signal-wise moving from my Vodafone SIM to the GIFGAF SIM. Now, if you're a BlackBerry user, to get the BlackBerry internet services, you can get... Um, like an add-on, a BlackBerry services add-on when you buy a goodie bag, and that costs three pounds for a month of usage, which is definitely cheaper than all the other networks. Most networks charge five pounds, some charge more, but three pounds, GiftGaff is the only one who do it that cheap. So if you're a BlackBerry user and you're on pay as you go, then you know you might save money by moving to GiftGaff. Especially if you use O2 already, you'll know what the signal's like, so it's it's a no-brainer, really. If you're on pay as you go O2, you can just go straight to GiftGaff. You can move your number as well and end up spending less money per month. That's pretty much all I need to mention. I mean, I've had a great experience with GiftGaff. I am just genuinely waiting for my Vodafone contract to run out in a couple of months. And then I'm going to transfer my number to GiftGaff and continue to use it from there. It's definitely the cheapest network for my needs and probably for a lot of people's use as well. Especially if you use a lot of online internet on your phone. That's what tends to cost a lot of money. So... Uh, I highly recommend GiftGaff. It definitely gets five stars up, uh, from me. How you get involved with GiftGaff? All you need to do is order a free SIM, stick it in your phone and activate it. It takes a second. I've put up a video where I show how you activate it as well, just in case anybody is curious. You, when you activate, you can top up with £10 or buy a goodie bag, which is what I did. I bought a £10 goodie bag. And if you order a SIM from the link below, then you get £5 credit when you activate a SIM as well. So... You could get the £10 goodie bag, you end up with a 250 minutes um, unlimited text and unlimited internet, and then you end up with a £5 credit as well on top of that. So, pretty great, great deal for £10, and I highly recommend GiftGaff. Now, if you have any specific questions about GiftGaff, then ask me in the comment section below and I'll get the answers for you.